Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rogues and Rollplayers. Hello. <laughs> Please, let's talk about important things in my creepy-ass church. <laughs> yeah. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. <laughs> it tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. <laughs> We're ah, coming up with a new formula butter. for Dr. Leader. Uh, <laughs> the guys. Clint runs food it's production. crisscrossed our senses. Crossy That's why it tastes pretty. <laughs> Jones, our bridge to the outside world. A secret the ingredient is LSD. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Harvey. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people Four. left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> no complaints here. I get that you guys have a way of doing things. Thank you. We have to be careful. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Uh, cake. Spinach Duh. from Clint's garden. <laughs> or a baked Four. Yes. By yours truly. <laughs> I'd have to go with that cake. I haven't seen anything like that in years. <sighs> Suit yourself. Come on, Clint. At least he's being honest. <laughs> Sugar. Please make yourself. You've already fitted well. The loser of these strange competitions gets baked into a cake. <laughs> <laughs> you're eating the last loser. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you're the new vegetable man. <laughs> this word counts for a lot. Is that so? <laughs> the three of us and Dr. Lingard. Hey, just make, make sure I get my vanilla beans and we'll so, be okay. <laughs> yeah. People who choose to stay with us. Like they strange little us puzzles we get put into, Not like you spinach or cake. Can be uh, so many choices, which one will you choose? Go away, you strange little choice key. goblin. No offense, <laughs> Wearing like five dirty towels on your head. <laughs> just curious who's leading the troops into battle. Everything you see, we built ourselves. If that's not an endorsement, I don't know what is. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led the us to Choice Goblin this. came and he chose wrong. <laughs> Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? Two. It's our litmus test for loyalty. That looks pretty intense. Doesn't it hurt? It's burned into your flesh. Of course it fucking hurts. It's a sign <laughs> of commitment, not a Buddhist symbol from your year abroad. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We, we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain that's what keeps me awake at night. Oh, I guess maybe it she's the leader. Me into a or at least night one of them. I know it's a lot to Two. ask, but I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. You can't protect. That's why we Joe. just make them choice between Not completely cake and spinach. Not anymore. <laughs> you make <sighs> them choice. <laughs> You're probably right. Yes. That doesn't mean we don't have to try. Yeah. Max, what are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Ah. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. Four. I want to hear that from Javi. <laughs> Guess we'll call this one checkmate. I have a problem with him. He's Another right successful scheme. <laughs> yeah. uh. Same here. <laughs> I don't buy it. Max, how did this start? God, she's like... <laughs> don't look at him. She's like the soccer mom you don't piss off. obligation <laughs> to tell the truth. And I was starting my latest scheme with... <laughs> <laughs> we caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. Two. Did you steal gas from us? We were on the run from a herd. We just needed a single can. Everyone needs gas, asshole. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. Didn't really give me a chance to ask. 
Yeah. That that's not all. He shot Rufus. And then stole the pudding. <laughs> you did what? We found the body near Three. the of Rufus's truck. That wasn't my finest moment. So you admit it. If I could take it back, I would. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to killers. We're trying to build something different here. Two. Something resembling civilization. Everything I did out there was to protect my people. That's more than I can say for you. I'm not sure what you mean. Javi? You have something to say? Four. Even. You killed One of my your niece. people. Some asshole called Badger. He put a bullet in a little girl. My niece. David's daughter. What? Damn it, Javi. I told you I'd handle it. No, David. This cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. I only did it once. No. It was part of an elaborate <laughs> scheme. Go mm -hmm. on, Javi. Two. Sounds like you've got more to get off your chest. Your cousin are level the town. They used tear gas. I plead there the fifth. There was nothing left of Prescott <laughs> when they were done. Badger did that. Not me. You were right there next to him. I tried to get him to stop. I swear. He did do that. We warned you yeah. about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. I want them gone. All of them. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. Not even cake? The cake was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> no! Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend, too. But the rest of you, you're going to have to do what they say. I'm sorry. Two. It's out of my hands. This is ridiculous. You have to do something. I, I can't right now. But maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive. Okay? I mean, at least hmm. they're giving us enough to defend ourselves. Yeah. But I suppose that's a bit of a relative term. <laughs> and they also did level where we were living before. Yeah, we're kind of here because of them. But so it's not really a silver lining to this situation. No. Somebody's going to end up taking the fall for everything. And it's either going to be Badger or us, but we're more convenient to them right now. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? We didn't do anything. I might do something here in a minute. Does this, like, esoteric dance? Uh, what happened like, to our oh. weapons? Oh, there they are. David packed this. He did. They said... Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! Oop, two. You wouldn't like me when I'm dirty. <laughs> Turn into the dirt hole. <laughs> oh! Jeez! Do not fuck this up. Wow. Yes, ma'am. a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. <laughs> just freaking knocked him she out. Fucking bricked his ass. <laughs> <laughs> she hit me in my sensitive spot. My giant manly beard. <laughs> Seems your moment alone with David screwed us over pretty good. We trusted you. Three. Everything was going okay. At first, I don't know what happened back there. Everybody just started yelling, and then yeah, there was cake. Well, I got a pretty good idea what's going to happen out here. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. That's a lot of butter knives. Oh, how fucking they, like, neighborly. unzip the bag, it's Grandpa. They're like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> surprise! <laughs> I'm out of the protection you ever need. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, next time on Rugs, we'll open the bag. All right. We'll see you guys then. What's in the bag? Suspense. Double bag. Is it Grandpa? Is it Grandma? Is it... 
Is it a giant? I, it, it's hard to mix grandpa and grandma together. Is yeah. It, is it grandpa? <laughs> grandpa. <laughs> or maybe it's a giant Toblerone. <laughs> God, I hope it's that cake. <laughs> Just packed a giant duffel bag of cake. <laughs> <laughs>